Welcome back, everyone, to HalloweenHaunts365.com, the podcast, the website, mm. just haunted attractions everywhere. All the above. I'm Jared. Hi, I'm Terry. We're back with another um, another haunt review. You guys tired of us yet? <laughs> this night, we went at the Lehigh Valley Screen Park and had a blast. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's hear from a word from our sponsors before we get into it. Go Phillies. Party Pumpers DJs is a proud sponsor of the Halloween Haunts 365 2023 season. Elevate your special events with Party Pumper DJs, the Party Pumper served at Northeast Tri-State area. From weddings, to birthday parties, corporate events, to backyard barbecues, Party Pumper DJs will help take your event to the next level. Experience 4K visuals, JBL sound, intelligent lighting, and mayhem all season long with DJ See No Evil pumping the party in the Six Feet Under Midway at Lehigh Valley Screen Park. Lehigh Valley Screen Park is located just outside of Allentown in Orfield, Pennsylvania and consists of 400 attractions along with the huge nightly party in the two-acre, six feet under Midway. Check out and connect with Party Pumper DJs on Facebook. It'll be at the end of this video. We'll see you out there. All right, Lehigh Valley Screen Park. Was it Orfield, Pennsylvania? Yes. Located right outside of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Easy ride for us. Uh, I think it took us an hour and a half. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Date of this review is October 8th, 2023. So, Lehigh is a very good midway. A lot of great food, a lot of cool options, an awesome DJ. Uh, Thanks for the shout outs and hospitality and Helping us out through the night. And he's our official sponsor from Party Pumpers DJs. Mm. He, he sponsored our all our haunt reviews. So um, give them a follow on Facebook. We'll have a link down here. First up, um, there's four attractions. The Hollow, the, uh, <laughs> hollow the, of Horror. Hollow, hollow of Horror Hayride. Psycho uh, Condemned. Bio Purge. And Psychopath. It's a cool name for a haunt, Psychopath. Right up your alley. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, um, the Phillies, they win tonight, they take it home, so got the Phillies gear on tonight, got the mug going for the Phillies. I love the Phillies. <laughs> I've been a Phillies fan since the early 80s. So let's uh, stop the sports talk, get into our haunt talk. Hollow of Horror. Hey, I get it. Olive <laughs> Horror Hayride, here's the... Sc- oh, I'm and, tripping. Yeah, I have and... a good walkway video for you guys. We're going to get into that. And uh, if you're on the podcast, feel forward to fast forward, but I actually put our theme song behind this after the beginning. And if this gets taken down off YouTube, I'll fix it. But here we go.
All right, so that was our midway walkthrough of Lehigh Valley. You can see there's a ton of shit to do. Uh, shout out to Bruce and Stacy. Bruce hitting the bullseye. Stacy giving it her best shot. But uh, it was fun hanging out with them again at a haunt. They made it to quite a few this year for us. Yes. Yeah, so I love coming out with them. Great time. Uh, huge shout out to Troy, DJ, Party Pumpers DJs, and the whole team out there. And they still win the fry category. Yes. I've been eating fries all year, <laughs> and it's really been going against my diet, but I'm still down. See that? I'm still down. <laughs> all right, guys, but let's get in the Hollow of Horror Hayride. Here's a scoring video. And we are back. <laughs> Hollow of Horror Hayride. All right, so some cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we've done a lot of these. Um, we got one more to record after this coming in from L.A. All right, so Hollow of Horror Hayride. We're going to go into favorite scenes before we repeat the scoring. Uh, my favorite scene was the hillbilly scene. I usually hate hillbilly scenes. They're usually annoying. This one was hilarious. Such a great job. Awesome shout out to those actors. You guys killed it. <laughs> you got someone pregnant. I got someone pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. Bathhouses. I'm just I'm just pimping this season. <laughs> All right. So I like the cemetery scene. She liked the cemetery scene. And Bruce liked the junkyard scene. That's right. Uh, the junkyard scene was pretty cool. Awesome lighting. Good, good jumping out of that. It was uh, well lit. A lot of good changes going on. Uh, second favorite scene. You like the junkyard scene? Junkyard scene. I like the hillbilly scene. And Bruce was the That's hillbilly scene. scene. Yep. Right, my third favorite scene was the playground scene with the creepy ass grimace thing from the early '80s and the two twins laughing behind you. That which was creepy. perfectly sets up a great jump that we will not give away. Bruce All jumped. three of us. Yes, he did. <laughs> you jumped too, but Bruce jumped harder. That shit was funny. So all three of us liked the playground scene. It was a great uh, bait and switch. But uh, yeah, Hayride. Um, actors 5. We like how they come out after the scene. They don't have to do anything. They just like run by the cart. It's a little jolting. It is. Because I haven't seen that anywhere. They come out of nowhere. Yeah, and they come literally out of nowhere. And just come running along the cart. Yes. All right. Um, duration. We're at a four. It's about 18 minutes. Uh, but I like how it stopped at the scenes. That's my favorite is when you stop at a scene. Nothing's worse than being on a hayride doing 40. <laughs> We've been there. We've been there. <laughs> um, like, hold on to your hat. <laughs> yeah. Fear Factor of three. It's more funny, but it's still entertaining. So that score doesn't really matter for this hayride. Uh, lighting at five, much improved. Saw a lot more. The, the, the damn cemetery scene. The wind wasn't cooperating, so the fog kept moving yeah. on them. That's but tough. That's it's hard. Yeah, it was a windy night. Makeup and costumes were at a four. Immersion of five. You've really felt the scenes this year from all of them. Um, yes, from the mm -hmm. Voodoo priest that we really like to the cemetery to all of them. It just it was so real. I was watching the girl next to me, and she was doing the sign of the cross, and she's like, "Uh, uh, mm -mm, get away." <laughs> I mean, the it, the I wish he got closer priest. to do the curses because he was a little far away. Yes, it was like he was really doing a curse on I you. Know. I wish he was closer so it was more personal. Intensity, 
like I said, it's more entertainment, but Bruce jumped through his shit when he thought that thing was happening. Yes. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Because it's a great jump scare and I don't want to ruin it. Scenes four. We saw more both sides interaction. Like I don't think feel like I missed something on the other side. But Correct. I hate hair rides now. I don't hate them. Just, right. I'm tired of doing this or like this. Right. They put me face forward. I just want to watch the show. Um, that's why I'm <laughs> Team House. <laughs> Sound the music five improved. I love how it's in the woods and not in the cart, and it's loud. It's effective. Yes. It does its job. Special effects were out of four, giving it an overall 4.2. Nice. All right. So after that, you are dropped off at Psychopath. So um, let's get into Psychopath. Here's the scoring video. All right, psychopath. Um, favorite scene? It was the crypt for all of us. I really yes. liked this crypt. This was a well done crypt. Uh, second favorite scene for me was the carnival with the gun. Me too. Funny actress. She was great. Uh, the gun things real fun. And uh, Bruce's was the blackout room with the uh, Rob Zombie intro playing. Uh, third favorite scene. I liked the doll room. Bruce was the whiteout room, and of course Terry was the doll room. There's oh dolls <laughs> every single friggin' time we enter I one of these. I do. I just want to pick them up and take them all with me. <laughs> yeah. I just wish somebody would hand me a doll. <laughs> Why though? You'll keep it. They can't <laughs> hand you a doll. All right. Um. Yeah, Bruce liked the beginning whiteout room, and we all really liked the uh, clown swamp. You don't often see a clown swamp. No. All right. So actors five. Everyone did a good job. Love the actress with the gun. You didn't hear the actors in the corn. I only heard one. That's usually a huge problem with corn. That's usually why I hate walking through corn. You can hear everything coming. It's not a rat or a right. cat coming at you. It's a haunt actor. So it kind of gives it away. Duration of four. Fear factor, a three. It was more entertaining than anything. You know, like uh, lighting a four. Makeup and costumes a five. Everyone looked great. Immersion of three. I can kind of see over the corn, so it kind of takes me out of the corn thing. And it's not like you're super tall. I know. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I'm just tired of corn. Intensity of three. A lot of slow parts. Scenes of four. I liked some of the scenes they had out there. Sound and music of five. Loud music. I liked it. Yes. Very loud. Special effects, <laughs> five. The gun shot, you know, gun did a thing. Certain rooms had certain things. Overall, it's a 4.1. My notes on this is more scenes. Your scenes are great. Too much corn. <laughs> what? It's my, uh, it's my scene. <laughs> All right. Um, next, we were um, forced in the bio purge. I thought we could do either one, but whatever. Uh, so let's get in the bio purge.
All right, Bio Purge. <clears throat> Bio Purge is your typical uh, zombie virus warfare type walkthrough. Yes. This is more theatrical than anything. Um, favorite scenes. We all love the elevator, especially the actor in the elevator. He made was it. awesome. He was phenomenal job. Uh, second favorite scene. Mine was the autopsy room. Bruce liked the cremation scene. It is a cool scene. Uh, third favorite scene is cremation scene for me, junkyard scene for Bruce and Terry. I don't know. I don't understand the outside part of Bio Purge, and I'll get into that shortly. All right. So actors of five. Dude in the elevator was awesome. All the main actors were great. Duration of four. Fear factor. I'm down to a three. There's some slow parts. Nothing's really scary. No. Uh, lighting a three. Just nothing popped out at me. <laughs> Makeup costumes are four. Everyone looked really good. Convincing. Um, immersion of three. I don't get the outside part. I, I don't <laughs> I don't see how that comes into the purge. Maybe you're running through the base, maybe? Uh, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe they took <clears throat> over? Maybe. That's how I take it. They took over the I don't know. You're just outside base. getting stuck <laughs> in barrels. I, I don't know. Um, intensity of three, scenes of three, sound and the music of three, special effects of four. There's some pretty cool animatronics in there, though. Yes. Um, overall, a 3.5. This is my weakest haunt there. I've, I've said it last year, too, but we'll see. And when we walk past the board to leave, everyone can vote on their favorite haunt. Cool idea. Which, that is a cool idea. Very cool idea. I like that. Uh, other haunts have given two tickets, so you can go through... Or three tickets. You get one for one attractive, one for the other attraction, and then you can go into your favorite one, and the haunt with the most tickets at the end wins. So the customer can go through a haunt again. I thought that was a cool idea. Field of Screams did something like that yeah. one year. Mm -hmm. No, but uh, yeah, Bio Purge was last mm -hmm. in there, too. So it wasn't just me, guys. Sorry. Yeah. But the actors in there were phenomenal. That guy in the elevator was hilarious. Great job. Awesome. Um... We're still recording, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Got a lot going on. A lot in the hopper over here. <laughs> All right. So after that, we went into my favorite. I think it's everybody's favorite. I think so. It won the poll that night. So we're talking about Condemned. Here's a scoring video. All right, Condemned, your house walkthrough, my favorite, baby. All right, this was outstanding. I had a blast <laughs> in here. I did, too. Let's get to where... Um, you feel like you're... I know, in, in... the freaking house. Yes. Uh, favorite scene. Mine's a church scene. I'm a sucker for devil churches. <laughs> Maybe because I belong in one. I just love the upside-down cross. Uh, Terry's was the kitchen. And Bruce's the attic. And Terry, Hollywood scream in the kitchen again. Yes, I did. I'm the same thing. Back to back <laughs> years. So we had a back to back scream at Markle's, now back to back year after in uh, Lehigh Valley. Uh, Bruce liked the attic. I like the attic too. Great actor in there, just really creepy trying to get the chains off. 
Um, second favorite scene. Mine's the opening room with her stroking her kitty. I mean, skunk. Uh, Terry's was the church, and Bruce's was the funeral scene. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So, third favorite scenes. Mine's the chainsaw scene. This is really cool because they're actually hidden from you. Yeah. So, and you they're are. not overly loud, so you don't hear it throughout the park knowing it's Correct, there. Correct. That was different, too. Yes. Like, because you go to certain places, you can hear chainsaws all over. So you know they're out there. Here, maybe I just wasn't paying attention, but I couldn't really hear them until yeah. you got to that scene. I didn't know they were there. I forgot about it from last year. So did I. But I like how they're <laughs> hidden, so it's an extra uh, thing. Terry's was the bedroom, and Bruce was the opening scene for his third favorite scene. So, very awesome. Um, yeah, I'm watching the Phillies as we do this, so get over it. Listen, it's been Focus. a long time for me to have such a cool team. I mean, I've been watching, my grandmother watched every Phillies game from the time I was alive until the time she passed. Every one of them. She even had Prism. She paid for Prism. For you guys local, know that Prism was kind of like Showtime. Yes. But that's how you watch the Phillies. Except for like Sundays on WYXP or whatever that Philly network was. Remember? Yeah. My grandfather listened to it on the radio. Well, yeah. I should say my grandmother had it on the radio and he had it on the TV. All right. In the kitchen. So condemned <laughs> actors, five. Lady in the beginning of the story, actress. She's awesome. Great job. Duration of four. I want this longer. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> because you're in love with I, it. <laughs> I, I do love it. Fear Factor of five. Terry screamed. And same guy got Terry last year. Repeat scream. Uh, lighting. Well done. Great. Make the costumes. Outstanding. Immersion. You feel like you're in a real damn house. You do. Like, it's not over the top creepy. You know what I mean? Like, there's just like a stain here and there. It's really well done. It's one of the most impressive houses. Decorate it, well lit. Intensity of four. <laughs> I'd like a couple more jump scares. Uh, scenes of five, without a doubt. Sound and music of four. Uh, the lightning effect needs to be louder. Oh yeah, because it's like, a really cool, cool effect, effect. But I want it to like shake the room, like lightning does. Yeah. And this one's definitely afraid of lightning, so you'll probably get another That's scream. More thunder. But <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Yes, thunder is the sound. Lightning doesn't bother me. It's yeah, wait till you're fucking another story time. I was once less than six feet away from a lightning bolt. It'll scare you now. <laughs> that was the loudest fucking noise I ever heard in my life. Yeah, I almost died that day. We were on the golf course. We all dropped our clubs, waited for the lightning to strike, picked them up, and left. We all gave ourselves par. <laughs> we were out. It was the 18th hole, too. It sucked. All right, so overall, a 4.6. Best house of the night. Yeah, I I agree. All right, so weird notes. There's something in a hidden hallway where you kind of have to, like, bend down under it because it, like, caves your shoulders in. I don't know what it was. It was a blackout part, but it freaked me the hell out because I couldn't move my shoulders. Then I learned if I get lower, it worked. So I don't know what the hell that is. If someone could send me a picture, I won't share it, but I, I really want to see what that is. Right? I agree. I don't know what it was. I don't, I don't know. At first, but I it kept thought... getting tighter and tighter and tighter, so I'm like, do I have to go under this? What is this? I think it was one of those claustrophobic bags. No, no, no. They were hard. To me, oh. it felt like chair railing. Oh, yeah, maybe. You can move those. Some of them you can't. Yeah, you and can. I felt like Be a it man. was. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta take your glasses off and push. What's that TikTok? Be a man. Be a man. <laughs> All right, guys. But uh, let's uh, get to the final and talk a little bit more about it. Let's do it. Here's Lehigh Valley's final scoring. Conversations over.
All right. So, like I said, we don't let the food and everything else hurt the haunts, but we let it help. Yeah. And here it helped. Mm -hmm. Not that they needed any help. No. This was a fun night, and we love coming here. We'll be back next year. All right. So, Lehigh Valley Screen Park Final. Activities of five. Games. Food. Rocking DJ. Awesome fire pits. Everyone was hanging out by the fire. It was a little chilly. Well, for these people, it was chilly. For me, it was great. I was just like, it was the Arctic. <laughs> yeah, it's finally cold. Come on, it's haunt season. We're supposed to be cold. All right, atmosphere of five. People were having fun. People were dancing. People were eating. People were looking forward to it. Cool thing about Lehigh Valley is when you get your tickets, you're given a group number. That's when you start your expedition into the hayride. So you're not waiting four months to get on the hayride. You can mm -hmm. eat. You can drink. You can they had pizza. They had all kinds of stuff. And if you do VIP, they don't even give you a number. You, you can, can walk in as soon as the group start. Yeah, you can go whenever. Uh, food of five. French fries were great. They're so good there. Uh, Stacy liked the mini apple cider donuts, and they were tasty. I'm not a big apple donut guy, but they were good. They were good. Uh, the Haunted Attractions final came in at a 4.1, giving this an overall of a 4.82 out of Lehigh Valley. This is a fun night. You can spend all night here. You will not get bored. Um, Sundays we tend to see are a little slower, yeah. but now that I said that they're probably going to be off the wall busy Sundays, mm -hmm. but we went last year on a Sunday. It was just, I don't like being around a lot of people and I love haunts. So but I was weird. I was fine being around tons of people in Markoff's. You notice that I was all in the line. Yeah. I haven't looked at it all the time. All right. But, uh, they have roadkill cafe, deadly donuts, seven sirens, beer and cocktails and brick oven pizza. Terry had a blood bag. What was the blood bag? I think it was just vodka and cranberry juice. Okay. But it was good. And then uh, other attractions, Chucky's axe throwing, a dead head toss, and a merch store. We need more stickers and stuff, though, in there. Yeah, they had shirts. Good, nice glasses. Good shirts. Glasses, they, they were really nice hoodies. stuff. Hoodies. But I, I, don't, I don't really wear hoodies other than the haunt one. I don't even own a coat. <laughs> I have so many hoodies. All right, guys, but this has been our adventure at Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln. Oh, my God. It's all come together. Lehigh Valley yeah. Screen Park. Uh, thank you, Troy. Thank you to the whole team out there. We had a blast. Can't wait to get back there next year. You're definitely on the list. Um, I don't know how we're going to hit any new haunts next year because I want to keep going back <laughs> to these places. But we've been Halloween Haunts 365. We got another one to record. This is where every day is haunt season. Goodbye. Bye.